then what we're going to do is we're going to then look at how close our, how much of our data falls within one standard deviation or how much falls within two or within three standard deviations of the mean. That's all we're going to do. Here's the formulas. Don't even, if this is not fun, just believe me, we show them to you. This is something called variance, which we don't deal with in this class at all. But the square root of the variance is where you get your standard deviation. So that's why sometimes you see S squared in your calculators. They'll give you those, but we don't need those. Here is a lovely alternative formula. This is a formula if your data is grouped. Aren't you glad we're not doing anything but the calculators? Here is a set of data. 50, 50, 50, 50, and 50. What's its mean? 50. What do you expect its standard deviation to be? In other words, how spread out is the data? It's not spread out at all, so its standard deviation is going to be zero. If there's no spread, the standard deviation is zero. What if we put in a little bit of spread? Well, here we go. We spread it out a little bit. We went down to 46 and up to 54. In your calculator, you put this in the same way you put in the stuff on Thursday. So go ahead and start putting it in and do the same calculation, and I'll tell you what to do. Let me get her.
If you have an L1 and L2, right where I told you to hit enter, instead of hitting enter first, you hit second L1. So far, so good. Everybody's looking at that? No? Hopefully. You're now looking at x bar equals 50. So far, so good. Everybody's looking at that? Screen after you've done your calculation. So if you've done that, I got that. 